Hey you guys, it's Anne for Homegrown Fit, or on Facebook, Homegrown Muscle. I'm um, having a heck of a time with Facebook Live, so I just decided to, to record today's workout. But before we get started, I wanted to quickly go over two things that all the other core challenges I've seen are missing. I've done quite a bit of research when I was developing this program, and I noticed a couple things standing out on most challenges that I've seen on Pinterest and in people's blogs. Um, and then the real-time ones have been harder to, to catch and, and evaluate because they're there and then they're gone. So I might be, um, based on the body of knowledge that I have, this is what I've noticed. Number one, there's a very, um, there's a lack of variety in training. So there, after um, the first week or so of these 21 or 31 day training programs, you start getting good at those exercises. Your body learns the, the motor pattern and becomes really efficient and then there's no added resistance because you're doing typically with core training you're doing body weight training so you're just not going anywhere after a while that's one thing the other thing I've noticed is there's so much focus on the front side of the body it typically is an ab challenge and yes you can you can gain some strength and size in your six-pack if you've got a lean enough um, layer of flesh between your muscles and your skin uh, otherwise, it's not really going to help you improve your core strength and improve everything else you're doing. You're not going to be able to run faster. You're not going to have better balance. You're not going to have um, better performance in other sports activities. You're not going to have less back pain. Um, you're not going to have a smaller anatomical corset. You're not going to look much smaller around the waist because you're just training that six pack and maybe your obliques some. So those are the two things I've noticed most of all, and this program will address both of those. We're gonna have plenty of variety because you'll just be able to follow along with me and do different movements and advance, so progressive overload, advance through different levels as we go. Um, I'll of course, always have some scaling options so you can choose your level. Um, and then, uh, what was the other one? <laughs> and then we're gonna, we're gonna have fun, and it's gonna be a quick workout today. I'm gonna do three movements. We're gonna be doing some posterior chain core movements, anterior chain oblique movements. So we'll be crossing the midline of our body. And then we'll be we doing some RKC planks. We'll be introducing those. I think we didn't haven't done those yet. So we'll be moving through that loop three times together. And then it'll be good for the day. We got you in our lovely bedroom, by the way. The bed isn't even made. Okay. So let's start with, oh, tan line, yeah. So we're gonna start with sprinter sit-ups. So start with bent knees, arms extended. I'm gonna come up and twist to that knee that's driving up with that opposite shoulder. And then back down, one, we're doing 20 of these, two, three, four, Five. This is too intense. Keep your mid back on the ground. Six, like that. Seven, so like a bicycle. Eight, <laughs> nine, ten. If you're if you're ahead of me on the count, slow down your pace. You're gonna get more out of it. Out of it. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, I don't want to do this three times. Fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, woohoo, 20. Okay, right to the RKC plank for 20 counts. So just, if you have a timer or a clock, that's great, but we're just gonna count out loud because it's quicker and doesn't require equipment. Ready? Okay, so put your forearms parallel to each other, no clasping hands. Dig your toes in, dig your elbows and your wrists in. Nine, 10, 11. Hollow out your heart away from your gr the ground. 14, are you counting? 15, squeeze your butt. 16, pull your kneecaps up. 18, 19, 20. I feel like I skipped a number. Glute bridge, 20 times. So this is uh, the first option. I just want you to peel off the ground and then come back down. Um, the top, try to reach your tailbone toward your knees. Don't let your belly button rise over your hips. Ooh, that hurt. 
or also give a little inward traction on your knees so pull them toward each other without um, letting your knees collapse so keep them traction toward each other without collapsing and pull your foot your whole foot into the ground now I did lose count let's say 10 second option for you if you want to do something more advanced 11 is hold your glute bridge 12 and then lift a knee 13 without moving your hips at all 14 15 brace your belly keep lifting through the hips equally four more three and set down quietly two one good okay that's one round back to the sprinter sit-ups oh look we're ready here we go so stretch out long come up drive and hold it one two three as you reach overhead don't let your ribs pop up four so you can put one hand here and keep them flat that means brace here five never lose that tension six seven eight nine ten ten nine keep drawing the shoulder to the knee eight I just caught myself not doing it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, woo, one. RKC plank for a 20 count. Oh man, I'm glad I changed. I was wearing my athleta skirt with the snap in the back. Oh, that would hurt so bad to roll over umpteen times. Three, pull your wrists in. Four, glute squeeze, kneecaps up, heels driving back. Seven, eight, don't forget to breathe. Nine, ten, pull, pull, pull through the floor. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Glute bridges or glute bridge march. I'm gonna join you guys for the bridges. Here we go. One, touch down. Two, each time before you lift up, if you're doing a glute bridge, brace your belly, press up, brace it on the way down, then relax. And then start over. Four, five, keep pulling your knees down, feet into the ground, tailbone to your knees. Nice. Don't short the finish. That means go all the way up. 10 more. If you're not counting, you have an internal counter sometimes ticking, even though when I don't want to. Eight, seven, six. Nice job. Five, four. Three. Make sure the ball of your foot's pressing down too. One. Oh, that's driving me crazy. Something in our air vent. <laughs> I'll have to get it later. It's stuck. Okay, last round, starting with the sprinter sit-ups. We got this. So nice flat, stretched out position. Don't let your ribs gap like that. See how they're popping up? Brace them down. Here we go. Drive it up. Cross over one, two, three, four. Bring the shoulder across. Big twist. Five, six. This is how sprinters look, right? Seven, <laughs> eight, Whew. nine, ten, ten. Oh, nine, eight, seven, I'm losing my enthusiasm, six, five, four, three, two, 